Lori Glenn, and I have an international art salon based in Chicago. It's called Think Art. This is Fred Kleinberg. Fred is a French expressionist painter, and his work is really about the human soul and actually the agony and the ecstasy. And if you look at his work, this is in fact a carborundum piece, and you can see his existential humanity, the black on the red, it's powerful, it's engaging, and really it makes you feel. This is Ed Paschke's work. Ed Paschke is really considered one of America's greatest artists. Sadly, he died two years ago, and it's so unusual because Ed was always known for his big heart, and he died of an enlarged heart. And his work was always about the other. And you can see the northwest side of Chicago is imbued with the um, art of Ed, and you can see the images. It was pop art, it was very bright art. You can see this piece here as well. This one's called Bad. And it was like, I'm bad to the bone. It's sort of like the freaks of life, and yet, is that you? You have here Michel Asse, who's one of Paris's most important artists. Michel's work, this is actually a painting, but yet it looks like a sculpture. And he really engages people in the everyday life of humanity. David Gista. David is um, based in both Paris and Chicago. His work is really about emotion on canvas and paper. This piece here is Einstein, a burned piece, and it's burned with a little creme brulee blowtorch, and it's all about the engagement of people. And also, he had another series that he did, and David also talks about the whole issue of communication or the lack thereof in our society. The subject's backs to you, and yet it's not their backs to you. Is it perhaps they're looking into the future? They're looking into another world and engaging you.